So this is my first actual Transformers review um, and it will be on the 25th anniversary uh, edition of Perceptor. Uh, Perceptor, um, this of course you can see right there is a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, it is a very nice box art. Um, you can see here um, right there on the back uh, we've got a little bio um, just uh, in general of the transformers and uh, open the velcro you get to see his different modes tank mode robot and microscope. You get his bio. Um, now, not having the original figure, I don't know if it is the exact same as the little uh, bio that they used to have. Uh, and up here is stats. Again, I don't know if they're the same. I would assume that they are. Of course, in this side, you see the plastic tray and in which they uh, sit. Uh, I think it's a good callback to the way they used to package them. Uh, of course, they didn't have the flap, it was just the window. Uh, so, anyway, enough of the box, let's get to uh, the figure. This is his microscope version. Um, there is microscope mode. Uh, you can see his little light reflector and his specimen tray, all posable. And uh, got these shiny dials um, on both sides. These guys do nothing, um, but if you you turn this one, you see the lens goes uh, forward and retracts. Uh, and although they say uh, right here in the box, not a working microscope. Uh, it does actually magnify stuff. You can uh, focus in on it by raising and lowering the lenses. Uh, it may not be a microscope, but it does magnify. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for his microscope mode. To get him into his uh, tank mode, um, just bear with me. I'll try and you extend these things out. Um, and Far as I can tell, that's his tank mode. I never see him use it in the cartoon, um, and you know, it seems more like an afterthought. But they do have these 
little extensions that uh, come out. So, and of course, there's the tire track, the tank tracks molded in there. It's not. It's probably the least favorite mold, and you're not gonna. You're not gonna see it. You know, many people use it that way. So let's get them into the uh, robot mode. Um, Posability, he's got arms go that way, and he bends at the elbow. Uh, he's got your legs he can pose out to the side, turn, rotate, uh, rotate here. Um, this can lead to some bizarre poses. Um, but pretty good for a G1 figure uh, which generally don't have any articulation whatsoever uh, but that's okay we use their imagination now, as for weapons he comes with two he comes with his blaster and uh, he comes with a missile launcher and three missiles uh, one of which I have in here and uh, something that I noticed online was that this mechanism was uh, glued together so uh, the missile the missile wouldn't stay there. There was nothing for it to latch on to. It was an easy fix. Uh, you just get a little screwdriver, uh, pop this little cap off, uh, unscrew that, and gently uh, pull this off where it's glued uh, and it doesn't launch uh, I think you can probably get a spring in there uh, if you wanted to make it launch you could certainly do that maybe it was just mine uh, but if you do get this watch out for for that it's glued um, and then put it together and you'll be fine He's loaded, uh, ready to take down the Decepticons. So that's Perceptor. I can't really rave about him. Uh, I just kind of picked him up as a whim. I had, you know, it was some gift money, and I was like, oh, I'll get him and see how he is. I've always wondered how he was uh, as a kid. Um... Of course, he's very prominent in the television series, uh, really replacing Wheeljack as the resident scientist. So the good thing about these uh, reproduction uh, ones is that all their joints are going to be pretty much solid. They're not going to have uh, they're not going to have posing. You can keep them up like that uh, and they won't fall down. They will have all their accessories with them. You gotta check. Uh, I do hope they continue uh, these lines, uh, this line. Um, I would love for them to do reissues of the Dinobots. I don't know if they have or not. 